Hi, my name is Igor Kolodov. This is Computer Organization and Design, and I welcome you to the course. This is our Bristol online learning homepage. For most of the work in this course, we will be using an alternative website, cisweb.bristolcc.edu, and you need to uh, email me uh, to get your access. Here in this Bristol online learning website, I recommend that you subscribe to this discussion board and uh, you can create new thread as necessary and post your questions here. And be sure to subscribe to this forum so if new questions or answers are posted, you will be notified by email. It's uh, very convenient. So back to the welcome screen. I am now uh, clicking um, on the link to our home page. The URL here is ciswebbristolcc.edu and I recommend that you bookmark this page in your web browser for your convenience. CIS Web um, is a home page of Computer Information Systems Department in Bristol, and this is my home page uh, right here. I am now clicking uh, on the link to our course, CIS 262, and this is the login screen. Uh, the password here uh, is not the same as Bristol Online Learning. You need to get your credentials by emailing me directly. And when you get in, here is our main menu. Our weekly schedule um, has links to reading materials and handouts. So this is our recommended um, textbook written by David Patterson and John Hennessy from Morgan Kaufman. Uh, this book is covered in video lectures uh, starting with the third week of our course. And uh, since uh, we want uh, to continue practicing programming uh, to interact with computer hardware in our laboratory exercises, we're going to use a software interface to make, communicate with graphics uh, hardware. And uh, OpenGL is a library with application programming interface to program 2D and 3D graphics. So. Our second book um, that we will introduce in our uh, second week uh, right here written by Jason McKesson it will be our primary source for OpenGL programming the book is 100% free and 100% online so the best approach is to read the posted chapters while working on the programming labs. Uh, simply reading the book and watching the videos uh, is not enough. You learn programming by doing it. That is using your own keyboard when you learn the new material. And you will see that we have quite a bit of programming exercises, uh, which will be um, in format of laboratories um, that we will attempt to complete in this course. All right, so back to our main menu, and uh, here's the link uh, to our coding examples, which we will use in our presentations. Our syllabus uh, includes grading criteria, attendance and withdrawal policies, other important information regarding the course, and information about disability accommodations. So be sure to download and save it for your records. Our weekly assignments. Well, the first week includes only items uh, posted uh, in the weekly schedule. So this is our first week. And be sure that you visit weekly assignments regularly. If you miss a week, you will always find prior and the latest postings here. So weekly um, agenda. 
has new videos to watch, homework assignments, quizzes, labs, reading and handouts, and uh, everything else uh, you need uh, to submit. So new materials will be added at the end of each week, and typically the new update comes up every Friday. So this is the link uh, to CIS 262 YouTube channel dedicated to our programming exercises, which we will begin uh, in the third week of this course. So in addition, we have other um, uh, videos uh, marked right here on YouTube to watch with the links that are posted every week. So this first video series of videos is dedicated to a review of pointers and memory access uh, in C++. Okay, so in this video, I also would like to talk a little bit about good learning habits. Um, our course is listed as a four credit uh, course in the official college catalog. So for each credit hour, you should expect to study at least two, three hours outside of a class lecture. So what does this mean? Um, it will take you somewhere between eight and 10 hours each week to watch the videos, read the required chapters and complete all programming assignments. You must know your limits and that means avoid over scheduling yourself, whether uh, it is your work or studying. And uh, you need to set up a schedule uh, that you know will allow you to earn good grades and maintain your weekly planner to help you stay organized. So personally, I get tired towards the end of the day and I know I have to stop working and it's time to get some rest. So, and it is at the end of uh, my work day that I review my schedule for the next day. I like to write it down step by step. What am I planning? and then do my best to uh, get everything done. But realistically, I may not finish all specific tasks, uh, but that's okay. Uh, that's why you keep your planning and your weekly schedule um, updated every day. And every day you do a little bit of work towards, the, towards your final goal. In summary, this is what we do in this course. So let's get started with the first week material. And uh, what I would like you to do is to start watching this uh, series of video presentations. And uh, that series of presentations is covered by this uh, handout on our first week agenda.